Okay, this time I'm going to boot Launch Out 4.16, the latest version on the PS3. You can see right off, it doesn't have USB access. So what are we going to do about that? Hit Select. Continuing from the other video, you should already have these two files in your B Data System folder. And let's go to Startup Settings. Actually, first we'll go to Network Settings. And just put Save. As you can see, it was saved to the System Configuration folder. We'll just do that step because it automatically makes the folder. Let's hit Return. You can even go check out MC0. As you can see now, there's the System Configuration folder. So let's go back, back to select, and to the startup settings. Now what we want to do is change our USB D IRX from where it says default. Now we're going to select the path to the one we've already put in our B data system. Now if you want just basic USB access, that'd be enough. You'd be able to copy files, but if you want to use your Neo Geo CD emulator, for example, you need to change the USB mass IRX also. Once again, we'll choose the path. And that's it. Let's hit return. Hit OK. As you can see, it says save configuration to system configuration folder. Alright, so as we are right now, we still don't have USB access because we have to load up the configuration file. So let's just reset our PS3. Go to SM boot. As soon as the control is ready. And once again, boot up on shell 4.16. Hit file browser. Let's go over to maps. As you can see, you now have USB access on on shell 4.16. Not only that, but before, just these three devices were compatible with Swap Magic. Now that you've changed the drivers, you should have a lot more compatibility. I've got about 90%. I'm even going to switch my USB device to my SanDisk SD card reader. You can use any of the four ports. And even this now has access. So compatibility is greatly improved. And you're all set with USB access on Launch Shell 4.16. Have fun. Bye.